Bengals and Rams in the Super Bowl. Hot damn. If you told me 10 years ago that this would be a thing, I probably would have laughed in your face. If you told me three years ago, I would have laughed. If you told me three weeks ago, I might have laughed. But here we are. And holy crap, these last two weeks of playoff games has just been intense. Chiefs Bills and Chiefs Bengals were two of the best football games I have seen in a very long time. And I live in a Bengals market and I work with majority Bengals fans. So I got to kind of enjoy it with them. Even as a Chiefs fan, I appreciate what that win meant for them and what the Super Bowl will mean to them. But now that the suspension of disbelief has passed, it's time for me to pick a side. And holy hell, is it going to be hard. So long story medium length, I grew up in St. Louis as the biggest Rams fan in the world. Even during the decade of absolute misery following the greatest show on turf era, I love this team. To this day, I still have all my jerseys, football cards, the most comfortable throw blanket in the world still warm to this very day, and PlayStation 2 skin. Yeah, how's that for commitment? Remember this image the next time anybody tries to tell you that the Rams were never supported in St. Louis. But since losing them to Los Angeles, I found myself in a situation that St. Louis fans have faced before, although not necessarily in my lifetime. And even then, when the Cardinals flew to Phoenix and the Rams came charging in just shortly after, well, this time around, the NFL isn't sending anything our way except for some lowball settlement with the owner, who shall not be named. And sure, the Battle Hawks and the XFL were pretty well liked around St. Louis, and I'm absolutely glad they were, but it's just not the same, you know? Now, I can enjoy a football game for the sake of enjoying football. I am a football fan. But it's so much more fun when you have a team to cheer for. So I assessed my options, I took a bunch of online tests, did a little bit of soul searching, and eventually I settled on my interstate cohorts in Chiefs Kingdom. A lot of people in St. Louis did. Not everyone, and I'm, I wouldn't even say half of them. Some of them chose other teams. Some just quit the NFL entirely, or at least that's what they tell themselves. You never really quit on this league. I wouldn't necessarily call St. Louis a Chiefs town, but there is a bit more Chiefs representation than there used to be. And since 2016, I've been representing Chiefs Kingdom. I figured it was a pretty safe bet since there was never really a, an intense heated rivalry between the two teams, at least none that I was ever aware of. I always kind of saw it as uh, more of like a friendly rivalry, kind of like between the Cardinals and the Royals in baseball, just extended over to football. We're both in the same state. They were never really a threat to each other. There are Mizzou fans in both cities, and we both hate the Raiders. So how is this not the perfect team for me to cheer for? Although lately, people have been questioning whether that's the right decision or not, though, especially on Twitter. There's a hot take on there saying that St. Louis fans should never be associating with the Chiefs. I guess there's a whole lot of hostility between Chiefs fans and former St. Louis Rams fans, which is all news to me, although it did come from Twitter, so I guess there's my first reason to be skeptical. And the second is that literally nobody has ever said that, at least not that I've ever heard, until very recently, so they're probably just trying to make people mad. I mean, trying to offend people is like half of what Twitter is even for these days, isn't it? First off, people can cheer for whoever the hell they want for whatever the hell reason they want. You know, I once worked with a guy in Ohio who uh, picked his team by getting a keychain or a sticker or something out of, the, out of those little coin-operated twist dispensers, you know, the things that you see in like restaurants and Walmarts and stuff. And he decided that whatever team he got, that would be his new team. He got the Chargers. Poor bastard. But he stuck with them up to and including the present day. Great guy too, hope he's doing well these days. So believe me, there are far worse ways that I could have chosen a new football team. Despite moving on with my life and filling the void in my heart with the Chiefs, I do still feel some lingering love for the Rams from time to time. I mean, when they faced the Patriots in the Super Bowl just a couple of years ago, I broke out my old Marshall Falk jersey just for old time's sake. What can I say? Old habits die hard. And I do feel a small amount of pressure to break out an old jersey once again for the big game with the Bengals. I mean, the Rams winning the Super Bowl was something I dreamed of seeing at one time. Although, that was when they were still in my hometown. And that's nothing against Los Angeles. I'm sure it's a cool city with cool people, but it's not where I'm from. All right, and I hate their owner with every fiber of my being. On the other hand, that by no means extends to the players, which a lot of people seem to forget, that there's a difference between ownership and the players. I mean, I'm not gonna sit here and blame Aaron Donald or Johnny Hecker for what ownership did. They're the reason I watch, not the rich guy up in the press box. So there's definitely reason for me to cheer for the Rams one last time. On the other hand, who among us doesn't appreciate a good underdog story? As I said before, I live in a Bengals market, and I've seen firsthand just how much these people love their team, even though for as long as i lived here, they've always kind of sucked. And most of them have waited decades for their team to, be, to make it to the Super Bowl. 
We suffered for a very long time, and I love seeing long-suffering fans finally get to celebrate something, or seeing teams win their first ever championship. It's something I can always appreciate. So, I have legitimate reason to cheer for either team in the big game. Which one is it going to be? I couldn't tell you just yet. Alternatively, I could decide it in the same way that the Chiefs-Bills game was decided with the ever-popular coin flip. Who doesn't love that? All right. Heads for Bengals, tails for Rams. Ah, oh, crap, I hit the desk. It's interference. 